and I'm not gonna lie, it's drank. Welcome back to Drank World. Y'all seen the last Naruto Unhinged reaction, and it, it, it we, we got a new episode. A new episode just dropped an hour ago. It's just like any real anime fan, you gotta get on it immediately, right? You can't wait too long. You gotta, you gotta get on it, be able to spoil it. I gotta get, you gotta see the episode, go get on Reddit, spoil all the jokes for everybody, make all the references, you know, ruin everybody's fun. I gotta do that. But for me to be able to do that, I gotta watch the episode right now. So we're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna react to it. You already know what's going on. Shout out Barack OBZ for the original content. Y'all go hit the comment section, drop something, just drop a four. Your, I don't care, drop anything. Let me know that y'all were here for this, for, this, for this part. Drop a like on it. And remember, at 15 subscribers, you can give away that cream $100 bill. You remember what money looked like? Y'all remember what cash looked like? If I have to send you a, a single $100 bill, I'll send it to you. You get a hundred one. I'm saying I get 400 quarters from me. I don't care. You're gonna get a hundred dollars. You're gonna get a hundred dollars. No friends, no family, no predetermined winners, no leadership, no none of that. So let's get right into the let's get into the bit. I just wanna laugh. I ain't gonna lie. I need to I need to laugh or something. Or any other series related to it. This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, please enjoy the video. He gave us a this is a long one, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. He gave us like a 20 minute video, so we might have to go in parts on this one. And I'm not pausing that. Full Diddy while I'm in New York. All right, then. Now that I have y'all's attention, let me explain the rules to this first exam. This exam is a written test. And your main goal is to answer these questions the same way you think a real nigga would answer these questions. Oh, this is gonna be an easy 100 then. The only rule we. Bro, I forgot Naruto be saying nigga in this shit. Oh my god. That just caught me off guard. That just caught me so crazy off guard. And your main goal is to answer these questions the same way you think a real nigga would answer these questions. Oh, this is gonna be an easy 100 then. The only rule we got set for this exam is there's no cheat. Because if you cheat, you a bitch. If you cheat, you is a bitch. If you cheat, you is a bitch. You gonna be a bitch? Now we gonna start you niggas off with 10 points. And you lose a point for each question you get wrong. If you get caught cheating, you'll lose two points. Now, if one of you dumbass niggas fails this entire test, every person on your team fails too. Was that the real stakes? Damn it. Why the I can't remember if that was really the stakes. Win? That pink haired meat rider isn't gonna get a single question right. This should be an easy test for you. Don't worry, Naruto. Yeah, you're right, Hinata. But do you think you'll be able to answer every question on this test like a real nigga? I'll be fine as long as I answer them the same way you answer them. She basically just called me a real nigga without saying it. Some may see that as meat writing, but me personally, I see it as a sign of respect. All right, now fix your faces. Is respect now, just meat writing? This exam starting now. If you respect a nigga, are you just writing? So everything has to be hate. That's my new shit. Now, if you, if you even show any amount of love, you want dick. Damn it. How am I supposed to answer Can't respect these? niggas no more. It's about time I show these niggas that I'm a real nigga. All I have to do is get these questions right. Now let's see what the first question says. I'm already knowing this test bout to be mad easy. Because the first question says... If you are approached by a group of people and they ask what you're... Yo, I'm using Sasuke's voice for the fucking test proctor, like, just his, in, his inside head cannon voice for the fucking, uh, for all the test questions is funny as fuck. That's, like, top-level hating. Knowing that he's not gonna get none of these questions right, that's, like, Sasuke is just antagonizing him the whole time. As he is, how should you respond? In parentheses, it says, these people are black. What the f*** does this even mean? That's pretty easy. You can either ignore them and keep it pushing, or you can stand on business and tell them that your shoe is not their size. Now let's see what question number two is asking. If you happen to find yourself in a heated argument with someone- I was about to actually breeze through these shits. What Hold should up. be your main priority? In parentheses, it says, his name is John John. How are you even supposed to answer this? And why the hell is his name important to the question? This is- Doctor, you know why his name was important to the question. Don't do that. 
His name was John John. You act different when someone's name is John John. Certain things John John might have done. There might be rumors. John John has lore. Real lore. It's just common sense. Your main priority should be your own safety. Because if that nigga really has a metal plate in his mouth and has a name like that, he's probably crazy and fights pit bulls. These questions don't make any Yo, shout out RDC for that. That was the exact lore that I was talking about. That's so funny. And you went right there. I swear to God, that's that's so funny. Shout out RDC for that. Everybody know about John John. I ain't got a metal jaw in his mouth. Metal jaw, you know what I'm saying? Metal plate. Only nigga in the hood to fight a pit bull. You know John John. Makes sense. They sound like questions Naruto would ask. Wait a minute. Only a select few of us would be able to answer all these questions. And the instructor probably knew that. And going off of the things I heard Naruto say about being a real N-word, he would probably say that they would get answers by any means possible that without being caught. So that's probably the actual purpose of this exam. Luckily for me, I believe Naruto knows the answer to all these questions. That's her. Yeah, I gotta, I I gotta get to man's to back tomorrow. Answers without getting caught. I don't know how he after this, to answer I, these. I might go walk down to the store after because I know this thing is gonna be hot waking up to no ground. Oh, there's way more in here than I thought. King oh, Sasuke. I, I guess probably you almost this. finished. I'll just have to pull my weight and make sure I pass this test to hopefully increase yeah, no, our chances of moving on. I can't do that. That's crazy on. work. Somebody hit my grabber up earlier, but it was honestly at that point I left it up there to be used. Now like let's that. see what question number ten says. In your own words, define the term "real nigga." Ain't no way they put this as the last. <laughs> yeah, the BP is uh, not a far walk at all. Test. Okay, that's like what I just said. I might do that shit I'm after that. Get this wrong just so Sorry, y'all. I forgot I was recording the video. <laughs> Poor Naruto. He's probably over there struggling, unlike my glorious King Sasuke. Who's probably Yo, almost finished. I forgot Sakura was such a blazer. I'll just and make sure I pass this test to hopefully increase our chances of moving on. We just started and I'm almost done with this test. My bitch got to blaze me like Sakura does. Now let's see what nah, we question can't number 10 says. In your own words, define the term real nigga. Ain't no way they put this as the last question. This is probably the easiest one on the test. You know what? I'm gonna purposely get this wrong just so they know I could have answered this question correctly, but chose not to. That's some real nigga shit if you ask me. So my definition of that term will be Naruto Uzumaki. Yo, if you guys remember the real tuning exams, like if you actually watched the tuning He's exams, the, the testing anymore, so phase, that shit was so trash. But I these niggas had awful methods of cheating. Especially since that weird ass Proctor keeps looking over at me. But that's besides the point. Because it seems like some people are slowly catching on to the real purpose of this exam. Even Gara knows that you have to cheat like a monkey to get results sometimes. Wow. Since I have just finished my test, I should start planning on how I can make that sand village racist crash out. I'm surprised he finished his test that early, okay. buddy. Was Lee dumb? Hey, I can't remember if Lee was dumb in the canon. I can at least admit that he's probably going to do good on this test. But of course, I'll never let him know that. Luckily for me, I secretly slipped an apple bead onto Kabuto's chair before we start me. You slipped that what? Secretly slipped an apple bead onto Kabuto's an anal chair bead? before we started. Secretly slipped an apple bead onto Kabuto's chair before we started. So it most likely went in when he sat down. So it what? It most likely so it did most what likely when he what? Went in when he sat to Kabuto's chair before we started. So it most likely went in when he sat down. Now all I need to do is listen to the vibe. I feel like I lost aura. Off to be able to tell what answers he's putting down. I just realized Dosu probably placed that bead here as a way to cheat. I can't let anyone realize I saw it and willingly sat down without knowing it was for cheating purposes.
Yo, this nigga is a genius. This nigga's a genius. You said Kiba and Sasuke were trying to copy Naruto's answers? So, you think Naruto's answers are correct then? All right then. That's good enough for me. Because you did good today, I have a surprise for you tonight. Make sure you leave your wings extra oily before coming to see me. Oh no. Okay. No, ski. Damn girl. We're in public right now. We can't be seen talking like this. So we'll continue this conversation tonight when you get those wings oiled up. Damn. What is he gonna do with that fly? Really mad. Let me leave you with this. He knows an nasty nigga. A teammate who he thought agreed and supported his beliefs. Gara ended up finding out that was false, and the teammate was never seen again. I have an idea on what I can do with that information. The instigate. This nigga Rockley just put a do rag on. This nigga Rockley has a do rag on. Yo, drop a comment for Rockley having a do rag. Drop a like for Rockley having clean waves, bro. That nigga did have 360s. I saw the shine on his shit. I've never seen the shine on his shit. Nigga had shine on his waves. Y'all don't got shine on anything. That's from the do rag. Rockley from L Block. Crazy work. Back to the video. Is now complete. Now all I need to do is find the right moment to start the first stage of the instigation itself. I shouldn't have finished the test this early, because now I'm bored as hell and have to just sit here. Damn it! Since you already finished, can I ask you for a favor? Huh? That's more words than Hidata has ever said. Why is she stuttering so much? What is she about to ask? If you don't mind, can you give me the N-word pass for one minute? What the fuck? I'm just gonna act like I didn't hear that and ignore her. Hmm. Damn it. She did technically call me a real nigga earlier, and she listens to young boy too. Fuck it, let's just see what happens. I'll give you the pass for 30 seconds starting from the exact moment I stop talking. So say what you need to say and make it quick. Oh, um, I only wanted it because I wanted to answer the last question by Sis saying Naruto Uzumaki because he is a real nigga because I truly believe that. Oh, Hinata like just took the top blazer status. Right now. The realest nigga alive. This must be what it's like for Sasuke when he gets glazed. But the only difference is, I don't see this as meat writing. I see this as real recognizing real. That sounds like a great answer, Hinata. And I appreciate the nice words you said about the <laughs> I see this as real recognizing so real. So as a way to say thank you, I want you to keep the N-word pass for as long as you like. What the fuck did I do? What did you do? You blatantly cheated right in front of me. Don't even explain it to him. Just drag him and his sorry ass team out of my classroom. <laughs> hey! What the hell is going on, nigga? See your ugly ass back down and do your test, little nigga. He got pressed up on a wall in front of a whole classroom just for asking a question. Wouldn't let that happen to me, though. The realest nigga alive. Damn it, I'm just guessing it alive. Damn it, I'm just guessing at this point. My glorious the hot wouldn't tour is crazy. The only thing I can do at this point. Excuse me. I need to use the bathroom before I piss myself. Hmm. If he's doing what I think he is, then I might give him a promotion in the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make it quick. Finally, an opening to get Naruto's answers. If he lifts his arm again before that proctor gets back, I'll be able to see what he put down by using the Sharingan. Or better known as the Edgeringan. Edgeringan is crazy. Powered by the perfect practice. Edging. 
Since I'm in the back, I can see a few people trying to copy Naruto. So somehow he must have the right answers. And if that's the case, I'll just use my mind transfer jutsu. Now, all I have to do is memorize these answers. He lifted his arm. I finally have a clear view of his paper. How the fuck does that work? How does he see through him? These questions are meant for baboon people. So of course this wouldn't make any sense Yo, to me. Zara is my favorite character right now. And he's so racist. Baboon people is crazy. What did he call what did he say? Watermelon suckers the last episode? Bruh, I peed on myself damn near. They called bruh, why is racism so funny, bruh? Drop a comment for racism. Me. So instead of wasting my superior mind on these questions. I'll just get my, my fault. I must want to crash out. I saw crash outs today and then just wanted to do the same thing. Opportunity for the white man to prosper while stealing from the blacks. <laughs> Yo, in all good faith, I can't finish this episode right now, bro. I can't. I can't. Y'all gotta listen. I'm gonna have to go ahead and like, like, click like on the video, bro. Go drop a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Once we hit, if I once we get enough likes, bro, I'll give y'all part two because this is craziness. This is craziness, man. Like it up for part two. I'll see y'all in the next one.